Hey folks, um, B59 here and back with Pisaw Transport in Transport Fever 2. And today we're in episode 11 and I've done a little bit of more optimization of truck lines offline. But uh, what I really want to focus on now is the fact that we need to make this Evansville, we need to add our third landing here at Evansville. What's happening is we've got two um, lines coming in to transfer fuel and they both need their own dock because they're both going to have you know, hopefully 70 or more um, uh, units of oil waiting, fuel rather, waiting to go one to Memphis and the other to Cincinnati. And then we're also going to need to be able to store 70 units of steel when it comes when the boat comes down from um, Cincinnati and we have this boat coming in now and it's already got 70 steel and it's going to need to place a put a place to put them so <clears throat> one thing I did learn in playing a, about with this is that is that we don't really um, is that having the double docks if we put a landing on each side of this dock which we could do it would basically cut the ability the capacity for storage for each of those landings in half so currently there isn't a landing on this side and so we're using the whole dock for storage if i put a landing here in then we lose half of that but what we can do is if we put another dock in, then both of them will um, manage to uh, use their complete dock. So that's what we're gonna do. It's gonna be expensive. It's gonna require a lot more um, clearing. And you know, even still, I think that we're gonna have some challenges meeting all our needs with, these, with this number of uh, landings here. But uh, be that as it may, for now, what we're going to do is get this set up so that it's going to work okay. And get our terrain tool out. And we'll flatten. And we'll turn the strength up. And then we're just going to come straight on back here. Straight on back. Yeah, this is expensive because what we have to be able to do, and I'm going to go ahead and turn on the, we have to be able to get um, our um, navigable water, oops, all the way back to here. So that might be enough. Let's give it a try. Okay, so now what we'll do is we'll we'll just set one of these lines. Let's set the uh, Cincinnati line over to this other terminal. And so let's see, that's terminal two, and our cargo barge between Evansville and Cincinnati will go over here. And now you can see it already moved over the um, the fuel, and then when we get the um, when we get our steel in it'll just automatically get placed over there so that that's taken care of the other thing that we would like to do is um, we would like to get our planks set up to head into st. Louis so that it, our factory there can um, can be effective and what we see is our cargo barge went over there empty it's coming back empty but it'll pick up a full load uh when it gets to evansville in fact let's just look at this a minute this evansville st louis line has a rate of only 25 and a frequency of 34 minutes that is a long time that's um, almost three years the um, line between Evansville and Cincinnati, on the other hand, has a rate of 46 and 19 minutes. So if we're going to keep up with the steel, 
coming down on this line and we might need a second uh, boat here as well then we're definitely going to need more boats um, on the Evanston Evansville St. Louis line and so I think what I'd like to try to do is time it so that when this um, when this uh, Cincinnati boat gets down here with the steel We'll have a boat that's heading over from the shipyard here to join the Evansville St. Louis line and pick up uh, pick up the uh, Lotus steel. I don't think 49 is going to cut it on this line in terms of how much steel we're bringing down on an annual rate. So we're probably going to need to add more boats there too. We're in a we're in a stage now where we're going to be kind of building out our lines. They're going to get bigger. They're going to get more boats and we're going to start to expand them to do some different things. We still have to get food coming in here to Louisville. And I think that there's probably uh, some ways for us to do that with the um, Evansville Memphis line coming back from, from Memphis. But for now, let's get this piece working. And so let's let our, um, I'm going to speed it up and get our, boat coming down with um, the steel and once it gets right about to just past uh, the Evansville quarry that's when we're going to go ahead and let it um, and create our other boat in the shipyard to join the Evansville St. Louis line <clears throat> so it's coming around the corner now I'm going to slow it down to regular speed and I'm going to go ahead and get this boat out. And we will let it join the Evansville St. Louis line. Now, who knows where it will go? These things can sometimes have a mind of their own in terms of where which direction they're heading. And in fact, they want to go to St. Louis South, and we do not want them to go to St. Louis South. We would like you to go to Evansville to pick up all of this steel. So we only picked up 32 um, fuel that time. But we have a ton of fuel waiting to go down to uh, on the Evansville Memphis line. We must have a boat coming in. soon on that line, but I'm going to go ahead and name this one Cargo Arge Evansville St. Louis. <clears throat> now the other thing we need to do is get our um, we need to get our um, planks heading up to St. Louis from Cape Girardeau and right now this dock isn't big enough so let's see how many boats did we have just one boat on this line it and which direction is it going now it's coming up to Cape Girardeau so let's let it come up to Cape Girardeau and uh, take out as many of the uh, planks here as we can or rather, yeah, take out the planks, clear out this line as much as possible, and then we're going to get to work um, starting to rebuild this wharf to be able to manage more cargo and bigger lines. And let's see how you're doing on this line. Coming in only with 28 food. So we definitely have some balancing at issue here. Okay, you're heading back down to Memphis. And that is our only line on this harbor at the moment. And I'm going to let it get turned around a little bit more before I start blowing all this up. And I, I don't really think I need to pause right now because this boat won't be back for a long time. 
And, uh, although I think I will. I will pause so that we don't lose any more planks coming in from the sawmill. So here we are at the Cape Girardeau Wharf. We're going to start by laying down our um, traditional lines like that. We're going to come in with knocking all that down. We're going to we're going to put in another uh, line of pedestrian entrances and maybe even one more. And then, you know, I think first I'm going to make sure we have enough money to put this big, this big one in. How would that affect our waterway? It looks like it won't affect it. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put it, it's, I wouldn't mind getting it a little farther back, but that would be more expensive because I'd have more clearing I'd have to do. I might not have to clear at all at this point. So let's borrow some money. We're at 8 million. We may have to uh, spend a little time between this episode and the next to, um, earn some money <laughs> but you know what we're closing in on 1885 we're going to pause then and um, and let it and let it advance uh, or and, and keep the new vehicles from advancing and um, and that should help out there terms of Evansville and Cincinnati this only has a rate of 46 we we need to get this one up as well so I am let's see this boat is heading up here now it's got how much steel waiting for 94 yeah I think I'm gonna go ahead and get another boat on that line and we'll see how that does all right so this is on the Evansville Cincinnati line we'll only pick up 23 fuel at the moment but um, but then it'll uh, th that will probably grow so about getting our um, planks up to St. Louis. If we look here at this sawmill, it has the potential to get up to 400, but that would require 800. Um, it would require 800 uh, shipments of logs. Right now we actually have um, about 400 logs coming in just under that and that means it can make up to 200 but its consumer in Memphis is wanting 189 so that means we need really to bring this other sawmill online if we're going to be shipping planks from um, Cape Girardeau to St. Louis so that really ring, brings up the question of do we just extend another truck line? And this is a very busy truck line, a very busy road at the moment, although it would have a separate um, 
It would have a separate uh, torque station, but it would probably share the drop off. And it looks like it could drop off. Well, yeah, I don't think we could double the amount of, of uh, units there. So I think what we are actually going to do is we're going to change one of our rules about no trains. And we're going to say no trains except if the train is a shunt line that is necessary to supply a harbor river transport. So that's that's the rule that we're going to change. And so now we need to bring in a, um, a train station to run and carry both of these forests worth of um, logs into the Cape Girardeau sawmill. So let's see, got these, I don't even know if we could, I think we can, we're going to be able to set it up such that the um, one station will have enough reach to get to both mills. but I don't think we can do it from this existing road. I think we're gonna need to create a new road between the mills and then uh, connect to that. Okay, we got that road in. I cut out some of this because it was just too tedious. It's so hard to see in these trees. So instead, I did that offline oh yeah see this is what I was looking for those both light up so we can run use this one station to run let's see I'm gonna, I'm gonna point this at the mill All right. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and get a station at this end as well. And these are just gonna be terminus stations because these are shunts. May need to make them longer, but to get started here, Okay. Okay. And now let's get some tracking. I can't believe I'm actually building a rail. Oh man, these are hard to see. That's in. Okay, so it's kind of expensive, but this keeps keeps it nice and level. And I think that's gonna it's gonna matter. We've got a couple bridges there. It's in. Okay, and I think the other thing is we're just gonna start with um, You know what, I should, I'm gonna. I'm gonna come out straight here a bit. Actually, let me, let me make this longer first. So, it's at one, two, three, four. Yeah, I need to get it at least one more. Okay, let's get this in. Get another platform in. And do we want one more too? I think that will do for now. I am going to take this back. Get a little tidier connection here. Uh. 
Okay. And then let's do the same at the other end as well, although it's just going to be dropping off, so it's not as important, but it will if we end up having to put a second um, If we end up having to put a second train on this line, it will um, give it some room to turn around. Okay, so let's go in here and add one more track section and one more cargo section. Okay, and then fix our track line. Okay, that looks good. And then let's go ahead and set up our line. It's going to be green for logs. And I'm going to name it um, log train or log freight. Cape Dorado. It's been so long since I've played with a train that I can't even remember what my uh, my convention is for naming trains. And so in Cape Girardeau, we will load logs. And at the exchange, we will unload logs. Load logs, unload logs. Okay. And now all we need to do, and, and we will wait till full here as well, is get a train in. And I will, <laughs> where's a good spot to put it? It's like a relatively flat spot. It's all gonna be expensive because there's all these trees. But let's get our depot in. And some track to connect it. Okay. <laughs> so ideally we're going to need this to have a rate of 400. It's going to be a pretty quick train, but let's see how big we can get. Um, first, I think we should use the biggest train we have. <laughs> and uh, black car with side stakes. These are the small ones. Well, it's going to top out at 31 miles per hour, so... It's a 77 capacity, 100 capacity, mediocre, yeah, that's probably too mediocre. It's going to be pretty flat, so that, that would probably be okay. That's a 91 capacity. It's 3.68 million. Can we even buy it? Yes. Okay. <laughs> okay, here we go. A train. We have a train. I think, though, what we also need to do now is just... Uh, it's going to be painful. We're going to lose a whole bunch of uh, logs in transit, but I think we're better off to just go ahead and bite the bullet. And um, and get rid of this line right now, and that'll transfer all of the demand over here. So come on, little train. This is a uh, log freight, and what is 
What do we know at this point about our raid? 340, okay. That is almost half of what we need. So we are gonna need a second train in here going back and forth, no doubt about it. Let's just take a ride on this train and see um, we'll see what it looks like. How fast it gets up to. 21 miles per hour. Well, that's going to be a slow one. Fine looking train though. I miss my trains. Quick ride though. Okay, how many are you gonna pick up? Yeah, it never really gets up to full speed on this line. Now it is going uphill, I think, that direction. So we'll watch it go back too. So I think um I don't know that we're going to make enough money right away to um, buy a second one. Okay, we did completely fill up though, um, which is encouraging. And uh, you know what? I'd like to. I'd like to jump into the line. Three minutes. So every three months, it's going to uh, go from end to end. Because we're going to need to get the second train running before we can supply. Um, St. Louis, no doubt about it. And we also need to make this bigger as well. So where is our other cargo barge? Oh, it's heading back to Evansville it already. It already dropped off its load. Oh yeah, it made some money on that load. Yeah. So maybe we'll make some money on it. We definitely are going to have plenty of... Uh, steel waiting for it. We could probably put another on that line as well. I don't know why you went back empty. Alright, so how much did you bake us on this? 367k. Yes, we'll soon be able to double that one up and then and then we'll we'll start running the um, planks into St. Louis. And in the meantime, we really need to make this harbor put a large dock on it as well. And I'm just wondering, should we bite the bullet and do it when all these people are on? And I'm going to say, yeah, because we got to get it done. Okay, goodbye folks. Now we'll get a larger one on. And a landing. And it looks like we managed to... Oh no. Good. I thought I saw a red line up there. Good. We didn't cut off, <laughs> we didn't cut off our traffic. So we'll just have to let that build back up again, but at least that won't uh, overflow any longer. And we may need to do the same thing here in uh, K. 
Cape Girardeau, or rather Memphis. Yeah, they've got 89 people. You know, I think this boat is running full all the time. This passenger ferry where it's... Where is it at the moment? Oh, it's heading down to Memphis with 70 people. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead right now and buy another uh, boat, get it on that line, and make sure that it's heading up towards St. Louis. Where are you heading? Not to Memphis. You go to Cape Girardeau. Okay. And then I hope from there you go to St. Louis. <laughs> but um, we'll see. We'll see. And then our other lines here in St. Louis. Yeah, the, the St. Louis Cape Girardeau Memphis line is already full, and the passenger ferry on the other end is just now getting down to Memphis. So this was a good call. Had to happen. And our other lines up to Chicago are looking okay. Our tram service are looking fine. The bus service is looking fine. The other thing that I'm thinking about here too, and we'll probably look into this uh, next time because uh, we're out of time here, but I do think we're probably going to want to bring down some grain to Springfield and start to supply Peoria, probably have to hook up this farm as well. And then, um, you know, maybe some of the other places down here that require it as well. Because I don't know that Memphis is going to be able to supply everybody. I just, I just don't know. I don't know there's enough farms. We, we can hook this farm up too. We can hook this farm up too. So maybe, maybe that will work. You know, I'll take a look at this some more uh, between episodes. But for now, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say goodnight, old river, and I will see you next time.